Now, our second speaker for the affirmative is an ex-country girl who is now making a huge splash in the vast ocean of multi-platform digital media. As the owner and director of award-winning digital studio Metro, she is one of those rare people who is able to maintain a happy threesome between organization, creativity, and technology. And considering I can barely sync my iPhone without an in-depth YouTube tutorial, I find that particularly impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the extremely tech-savvy Raylene Robertson. Is the gap all in our head? I don't think so. I'm not here to question your awesomeness. I know you're all awesome. Just because you are over something, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Look, I'm over the Kardashians. I'm over, <laughs> yes, I'm over men in lycra, especially white lycra in this rain. <laughs> but they exist, they exist. Today I'm going to prove to you that corporate women should definitely mind the gap. So jump on board, ladies, and welcome to our first station, the pay gap. There is a 17.6% gap between what women earn full-time and what men earn full-time. Boo, yes, I, I love you, I love you. Um, anyone in final, financial services? Anyone? Put your hand up, I can't see you. Oh, oh yes, 32.7%, that's your gap. 32.7%, ladies. In the corporate world, or any business world for that matter, your pay says so much about where you sit in the general hierarchy. So, at 82.4%, does that mean that we women can do 82.4% of the work? <laughs> can a trial lawyer tell her client, yes, I can get you off, 82.4% not guilty? Can my dentist clean 82.4% of my teeth? I suggest not. Yes, absolutely, undoubtedly. We have very successful women. Gail Kelly, Therese Rain, Julia Gillard, Shell Sandberg, COO of Facebook, and Marissa Mayer, CEO of Yahoo. These ladies, unfortunately, are very tall poppies in a massively stunted field. <laughs> they certainly aren't the norm. Isn't she gorgeous? There we go. It doesn't stop there. Many women are behind the eight balls straight out of university. From the 2012 Grad Stats report by Graduate Careers Australia. Thank you. Thought you'd like that. It's true. Female architecture and building graduates start at 17.3% less salary than their male counterparts. And that's just one stat. There is a gap here from the get-go that corporate women are finding impossible to bridge. Corporate women do need to mind the pay gap. On that note, let's change tracks. Women have babies. It's pure and simple biology. We have the bits. <laughs> Sadly, being blessed with this wonderful ability to grow life inside of us, we also have to deal with the mummy track. So according to our mates at Wikipedia, the mummy track is the diminishing opportunities of women in the workforce upon becoming mothers. That's the technical description. I like to talk about it like this. Whoops, we have a uterus and we might use it one day. <laughs> Having kids means we can't possibly manage our commitments. Yeah, right. Women who have babies should not be on the fast track to la-la land. Yeah, for sure, some career trains are going to pass us by. They're going to disappear down the proverbial trunner, trun, trunnel, trunnel? tunnel, never to be seen again. But we're not asking for the first-class carriage, ladies. All we're asking is for the opportunity to jump on board that train. Corporate women do need to mind the mummy track gap. You've no idea how much practice that took. Now we come to our old friend, the perception, perception gap. The perception gap has more, sorry, I apologise, getting there. The perception gap station has seen more gaps than a Bobcat policy document. <laughs> Why is it that I can walk into a room with a male colleague 
and everyone, including women in that room, turned to him for the answers. Why is there the perception that because he's wearing the trousers that he has all the knowledge? Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Trousers does not necessarily equal brains. <laughs> and of course, all women are crybabies. I personally had a cry just this morning. I, I intend to put one in my diary for tomorrow. <laughs> the perception is that women are overly emotional, prone to hormonal outbursts, and therefore impossible to manage and can't possibly lead anything or anyone. Good old Nancy. And finally, we can't forget the biggest perception gap of all. Now, while I know it's incredibly illegal to be asked in, in an interview, what are your plans for a family? The fact is the unconscious bias exists. That women will let the team down at some point or another because of their family responsibilities. Corporate women do need to mind the perception gap. That just scared the hell out of me, that bell. Um, I think we all know the gap shouldn't exist but I think we all also know that it really, it does. Now, some of you might, might have noticed as I was walking out there that um, I might have eaten a couple of cupcakes too many out in the debate in the green room, you know, there. But the truth is, I'm actually pregnant. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'm taking vacancies for babysitting because I'm actually having twins. I know, isn't it cute? I don't know if I'm having two boys or two girls that are boy, boy and a girl, but what I do know is that I don't want them to grow up in a world where there is still pay inequity, where there is still an unconscious gender bias, where there are still different opportunities for males and females. I don't want to beat my head against the brick wall anymore either. I don't. But I also know that the only way to ensure that this is not the world my children and yours grow up in, is to admit there is the gap and mind it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.